versus Katsumi Orochi. Street fighting expert Koru Haniyama brings his unique, brutal style to the SFC. Katsumi Orochi, Shinshin Kaiyase, and son of the legendary Tiger Slayer, hopes to give this street fighter a lesson. Who listens to this mess? What? This sport is mired by mediocre talent. Few, if any, have suffered as much as I to be here. That's the problem. You get a bunch of thugs who hit the gym, put on some pounds, and think they can turn pro. A grappler is more than that, yet the crowd still love them. What do they have that I haven't? Uh, uh, nothing. No one has your heart or your little headband. Looks nice. Classy. <laughs> Hanayama, a man who understands the power of intimidation. There isn't a fighter on the streets who doesn't know his name. He is my only equal, and one day I'll prove it to him. This thug doesn't look so tough. Probably wears lifts in his shoes. Contenders, take your positions! This arena has never seen such two polar opposites. On the one hand, Orochi is a masterful student of the ancient art of karate. On the other, Hanayama is a self-taught street brawler. Begin! Nobody full of surprises like Haniyama. Haniyama comes in charging, surprising Katsumi with a solid double spin kick. A sophisticated maneuver, especially for a street fighter. Refreshingly unexpected. Let me take a moment to clarify the magnitude of the feat we've just witnessed. Koru Haniyama's execution of this advanced karate kick was flawless 350 pounds of gravity defying momentum that has forced young Orochi to dig a 30-foot trench with his face. Haniyama waits for Orochi to get up before delivering the final blow. Haniyama, finish him now! <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> that was a brilliant move, man. I gotta hand it to you. But you failed in your follow-through. If you were a trained fighter, I would have been in trouble. Lucky me. Hoodlums like you come in two varieties, dumb and dead. Too busy cracking kids' skulls for lunch money to worry about trivial things like perfecting your skills. Koto's level of expertise should be the least of your concerns. He'll bury you. So, how does it feel to let victory slip through your hands? I hope that little song and dance gave me enough time to recover. This guy's amazing. He's no street brawler. That move was bona fide grappler. I know your secret. You're no stranger to Shinshin Kai. I fought the best and won every time until today. He doesn't care that I know. He assumes he has me beat. Why else would he be coming in with a straight punch like that? Okay, you jerk. You want to treat me like one of your dogs? I'll bite. Kicking leg scissors block. No one breaks through that. One more punch like that and I'll be singing soprano. Katsumi seems to have endured the blow, but it's definitely the worst for wear, and can you blame him? That gut punch would have crippled most men. Hanayama towers over his opponent. That trickster's playing games. He'll knock out Orochi just for a recess. This strategy, or lack thereof, may come back to haunt him. Uh, 
Looks like the ace is about to fold as he goes down for a third time. True to form, his opponent hovers like a dark cloud. Wait, here comes the death blow. Katsumi dodges. Folks, it's painful to see a fighter like Orochi trained and desperate. Hey, bum, you call that karate? Katsumi, step out of it! That's right, son. You know what to do. The Shinshin Kai warrior decides to run rather than continue his attack. He must really be hurting to have wasted such rare opportunities. The hurting, that's an understatement. But I can still win if I play my cards right. Come on, charge me. Ten more seconds. That's all the time I need to recover. Just ten more seconds. You didn't see that coming. What does Haniyama think he's doing? He left himself wide open. Katsumi's on fire! Ladies and gentlemen, what you are seeing has until today been considered pure fantasy. A move so rare it doesn't even have an official name. First, a power kick to the solar plexus. One so deep it allows Orochi to use the pit of Haniyama's stomach as a stepladder. Incredibly, the momentum enables young Orochi to literally step onto his opponent's shoulders and deliver a decisive uppercut that is rumored to be fatal. However, the reason no fighter has officially attempted this maneuver is that the adrenaline level necessary to sustain such an attack induces madness. Madness? Why not? <laughs> Whoa, the quadruple scorpion strike! Katsumi's full of surprises today! <laughs> yes! It does work! Oh no! The iron clutch! Koru! What we've just witnessed borders on the cruel and unusual. This ghastly technique, also known as the splatter pinch, works by applying intense pressure to either end of an extremity, forcing it to rupture from within. Debilitating and exceptionally painful, Katsumi Orochi would seem to have no choice but to surrender the match. Yeah, that stings. <sighs> Body of the falters! Perhaps the monstrous street fighter was more seriously wounded than he first appeared. A dash of hope must be stirring in Katsumi's thoughts right about now. Take your shot! Give that dumb kid what he deserves! Come on! That criminal should be behind bars! Don't let him win! Willpower, not brawn, may determine the outcome of this fight. Now I know I'm in trouble. Can't think of a witty line to save my life. Face facts. You've been a caricature of yourself so long you forgot what it was you were striving for. I'm glad you can't read my thoughts, Dad. I'd hate to hear I told you so. You're doing it again, playing the hero. That's it. Smile. Let the crowd know you're still in control. Sell yourself wholesale, but for once be honest with yourself. Feel those spasms in your leg, the acid burning in the back of your throat. That's real. You're scared. Hell yeah, I'm scared. I'm a 20-year-old kid who's about to end his career. No! What does Katsumi think he's doing out there? He's gonna get killed! Hold it together. You can do this. I think he broke my jaw. <laughs> the pain is increasing. Good. At least I know I'm still conscious. 
Katsumi lands flat on his back and his defeat seems all but certain. Hanayama once again hovers over him like a vulture, almost as if he wants his opponent to get back on his feet, as if that's even possible. I'm no referee, but I'm calling it, folks. The ace has been trumped. Once, right? Ignore the pain. You're in control. Relax. Focus on the goal. I was wrong! You can win! Focus! Gato... Mido... We believe in you! Now believe in yourself! Get up! Retsu was right. I am the face of Karate. But when people look at it, they don't see me. They see hope. I didn't redefine karate, it redefined me. Sounds like a bad quote off a bumper sticker, but it took 20 years of nearly losing a leg to admit. What? I know Katsumi loves to hear the sound of his own voice, but this kinder, gentler routine isn't his style. Watch out, Koru. As far back as childhood, I've craved attention from anyone. Karate was the best bandage I could find. I just never took it off. Training was a cinch. When I started kicking, people applauded my every move. But I soon found practicing classic techniques uninspiring. So I created my own. One of my favorites is something I call the Fang. I designed it to use on someone special. One man. You know him. The King, Yijiro Hanma. You mutilated my father, but I'll avenge him. An eye for an eye. You will suffer. Was that a warning for Hanayama or Yujiro? Savvy fans may recognize the similarities between Katsumi's newest move and one called the Whiplash. A single punch delivered with such force it actually sounds like the cracking of a bullwhip. In theory, the fighter learns to control his adrenaline level to the point that he can make it spike at will. Targeting a specific point within, he channels a concentrated burst of energy through his body like a bullet. When it reaches his arm, this energy is released as one hypercharged blow. This punch travels at such speed that it actually breaks the sound barrier. Thanks for letting me bend your ear, but the truth is, I was stalling for time, you see. Hanayama, don't! <laughs> Don't growl at me, punk. Are you ready for round two? In a stunning display, Katsumi's Fang move takes a bite out of the whiplash. It looks like these two warriors are still going strong. I could do this all day! How? Anybody else would be destroyed. What is it that keeps you going? Tell me, so I can rip it out. 
Now we can end this two ways. You give up and save what's left of your rib cage, or I keep pounding it till you get a bad case of deja vu. Besides, you can't even stand up straight. And I'll give you a little tip, Street Fighter. Big muscles won't do you any good if you can't move them. Link, if you're still with Why me. Do I know me. He never gave up. He was stronger. Shouldering the fate of an entire family. Uh, Hanayama! Ancestors, hear me now. Hear this, you freak! <laughs> wow! Hanayama has turned his back on Orochi! By you and know me, I remember. The year was 1616. A lone drifter stood before an army of warlords and gave his life as payment for a night's lodging. He held no weapon, only a bell that was too heavy and cumbersome to aid in his fight. Though he succumbed to the same grisly fate that befell his keepers, the bell did not escape his grasp. When the warlords' voices had grown hoarse and their blades cold, they retreated, leaving the body standing. A lifeless warning to all those who might dare oppose them. Yet, concealed within that bell, was the last remnant of the family they were paid to exterminate. A frightened child, clinging to the back of a stranger for dear life. Yakichi, sole survivor of the Hanayama bloodline. Great Bayou, just as you protected my ancestors, speak to me now in this my moment of need. Grant me the wisdom to withstand the pain of the flesh, so that I may prevail against my enemy. Koru, you, like every male descendant of Yakichi Hanayama, wear my visage on your back. Homage to the struggle I endured. But the meaning of my sacrifice has been distorted over the centuries. You would use it as fodder to strengthen your own resolve in times of personal conflict. However, the terror you wage on others is not for survival, but personal glory. Thus, the enemy you struggle against is yourself. Restraint and compassion. These are the weapons you must acquire to win this war. Bravely done, friend. I have what I came for. Thank you. Match over! <laughs> Katsumi Orochi defies the odds and pulls out a win! In a match that saw more twists and turns than an American soap opera, the ace of Shinshin Kai overcame insurmountable obstacles to claim victory over an opponent who, let's face it, maims people for a living. Hopefully Katsumi's injuries won't keep him out of the ring for very long. The prognosis doesn't look as good for Hanayama. This hoodlum street fighting days may be over for good. Yeah, I'll remind him you said that when he wakes up. You can go ahead and put away your stethoscope now, Doctor. Hanayama's gonna pull through with flying colors. I don't know if you had a premonition out there or what. I'm glad. It's good to have my friend back after all these years. Huh? Sir! <laughs> and me with no camera. Father, I'm so sorry. For the first time, I didn't know if I was going to make it. I always thought you rude me so hard because you wanted me to be just like you. I don't know, I guess I see things a little different now. Who is this guy? What did you do with my son? This is serious. I'm not joking around anymore. Well, that's a relief. Always know when to quit. Been my motto for years. Okay, so does this mean you're going to give up fighting for good? Do you want to be the one to tell mom, or should I? You two are a lot alike, and you're just as bad as she is. Did I ever tell you when you were a little baby she put you in a dress? Hmm? Easy. I do take after mother, yes. I don't think anyone can argue about that. I mean, come on, just take a look at me. I've got a full head of hair. <laughs> ah, I was just kidding! <laughs> Haniyama, come on. Huh. Looks like he's gonna be okay. I go on next. 
I would be honored if you would watch my match. I know you don't know me, Mr. Hanayama, but you've been a great inspiration to me. What's your name? I am Jiharu Shiva. Oh yeah, you're the one taking on the boxing champ. Time for our next match, and this one looks to be just as big of a culture clash as the last one. Two men from opposite sides of the world, American boxer Olam McGregor versus street fighting gang leader Chiharu Shiva.